Today we've got a What's in the Bag video for you, but not just any What's in the Bag video. Uh, this What's in the Bag includes Jackie's most popular club for 2021. Let's take a look. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole, the Second Swing Golf, and today I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing, and today we have a what's in the bag of Jackie's most popular clubs that she has fit golfers into for 2021. So this is a kind of what's a uh, full bag, driver down to yep. putter, of you know a, diff a mix of different brands and models, but ultimately the most popular clubs that you have fit golfers into this year. So uh, basically looks like all of 2021 models, right? Yep. Um, so let's just start at the top, Jackie. The big stick, the driver. Yeah. I see a Sim 2 club head here. Uh, walk me through the driver that you picked here. Yeah, so all of these uh, options are based off of someone that's more of a mid handicap, okay. got, you know, a mid swing yeah. speed. It's kind of like the average player yep. that you would be Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the Sim 2 uh, with that nine degree head, you know, there's plenty of different options for shaft. Um, yeah. So, but when it comes to that Sim 2 head, just you get very low spin, mm -hmm. but you still get that forgiveness. Yeah. So I think when talking about a player that wants to have consistency and also get max distance, the Sim 2 is a really, really good option. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was fit into. Yep. And I love the feel of it. I love the, the distance and uh, that sound too. It's like a powerful sound and impact. So I'm a big fan of the Sim 2. Um, moving into Fairy Woods, actually another one that's in my bag is Ping G425. <laughs> so you got, it's like I'm fitting you. It's, it, it, actually, I mean, you got G425 Fairways. Now you have two in here. Is that yep. any particular reason that you've been kind of fitting golfers into both? Or is yeah, it just so, um, you know, based on how many irons we go with, which I'll talk about it in a second here, yeah. but based on that, that's kind of how we're gapping here. So you got the three wood, the Ping G425 LST. Um, LST was a huge hit, just, yeah. you know, low spin, mm -hmm. uh, being able to flight that down and, and get max distance with that. Um, but the thing with the G425 this year is just, it's just been, I mean, yeah, no questions asked, the best fairway woods out there. So, okay. um, you know, the, the reason why I love paying for fairway woods is just that flat bottom. Mm -hmm. It just really creates a lot of consistency for most golfers. Mm -hmm. So you take a look at a lot of other fairway woods and they got more of a rounded bottom. Yeah. And for a lot of people, they're tough to hit to begin with, but even tougher when you have that. And so Ping really hits it out of the ballpark when it comes to their design on the on the bottom of the club to really help with consistency. Um, the other thing you can note too with either the five wood or three wood is just it's wider, mm -hmm. so higher MOI, so more forgiving. Right. Yeah, I, I have certainly enjoyed that and having the LST in my bag. And then you meant like you mentioned, you can kind of see it if I bring it up here. If you stick it flat on the ground, there's a lot more yep. of the club on the ground there which helps a little bit with that forgiveness. So in the, the consistency that they've added in there as well, it's great for those low face shots that every golfer struggles with that yeah. fairy wood, so. And then G425 Max in the five wood. Uh, Max, because we want to get a, maybe a little bit higher launch, mm -hmm. a little bit more forgiveness, uh, get that ball up in the air so we can stop it into a green. Sure. Um, so that tends to be the, the popular option there. So the three wood, you got 14 and a half degrees and the five wood, you got 17 and okay. a half. So we're good in gapping there. Uh, and one thing with the fairway woods, why ping is so great as well, is just the adjustability hosel mm -hmm. that they do have. So you can flatten it out. You can, you know, put the loft up, lower the loft. Sure. It's just a really good option for a lot of golfers to be able to have that adjustability. Uh, and obviously for us as fitters. For sure. So now moving down, I see a hybrid in there too. Yeah. Another new brand. So let's talk about that one. Yeah, so this is uh, the Titleist TSI 2. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a four hybrid, so 21 degrees. So, you know, as we're gapping here, uh, you know, within four degrees of that five right. wood. So now okay. we got this piece here. Um, yeah, the TSI 2 has been awesome. Just, you know, the feel of the club is great. I mean, it's Titleist, they're really mm -hmm. well known for their feel. And then it just is still really forgiving. So you see the TSI 2. Uh, be a really good option for a lot of golfers that yeah. are, you know, looking for forgiveness, but yet being able to shape shots and being able to get good launch and good mm -hmm. spin with the hybrid. This is a really good yeah. option there. It's certainly, you know, they've had the TSI 2 and the TSI 3. The TSI 2 has been 
very, very good in terms of creating consistency, you know, and then the forgiveness there too, and there's maybe a weird lie or whatever. That's kind of where those hybrids come into play. Irons now, I see the, it looks like TaylorMade P790, which we've lauded those on our channel yeah. over and over for the distance they provide. There's a big punch that's packed there. Yeah, I, you know, I was in between P790 and Callaway Apex. Okay. They're really good options and they're in the general price range of each other. Uh, P790 is just, it fits a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, when you're talking about, uh, you know, get the average golfer in here, yeah. where are they going to really fit into? That's going to be something that they're going to get good numbers from, but also be able to, you know, get good control, good distance. So yeah. P790 is just an awesome option for that. Um, they, they feel great mm -hmm. and they look cool. So I think, I think that's the other piece. Not that it's all about that, but a lot of golfers tend to really like, you know, their initial look of it. Yeah. So then when they come in here and they're getting fit and we hand them the club, you know, they're confident with it because they're oh, yeah. thinking, okay, well, this is forgiving, but yet it, it looks good. So they're swinging well with it too. Right. And I, I know that's a big piece that you guys focus on. You yeah. don't want to fit a customer for a club that they look at it and they're like, well, what is this? Yeah. You know, it's all that confidence piece actually matters a lot. And the P790 model, this is the third iteration of it. They've really slimmed it down and made it look a lot more appealing, I think, over the last couple of years. And this 2021 model is, I think, the best looking one so far. Yeah. So they've done a really good job with that. But now moving down, wedges. Yeah. What do we got for wedges in the bag? Here? So in the irons, we went five through gap, uh, okay. which is you know pretty that typical. Kind of the, the standard configuration that you yeah. fit in, okay, into. Yeah. Okay. And the reason why you know I've I've been asked this a lot is why would you add the gap wedge yeah. instead of going with like um, you know in this case we have <laughs> SM8s. Why okay. why wouldn't I have the gap wedge in the SM8? Well. So the reason why having that gap wedge in the set yeah. is like a really good option is just because you get the same shaft that you're hitting your irons because that gap wedge you're hitting full, right? Right. I mean, very rarely you're going to use that for like a chip shot or something right. like that. So uh, for most average golfers, that is the route to go is to make sure that we get that consistency with those full shots. So um, moving from that with that gap wedge into the wedges, okay. yeah, we have the uh, SM8s, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, when talking about wedges, there's plenty of different options. You know, obviously SM8s are more on the least forgiving side, yeah. um, but the feel is definitely there. You're gonna get yeah. the feel, you're gonna get response from the, the wedge. Um, but you know, when they're just so popular yeah. and, and for good reason, I mean, you, you, you get results from it. Um, you know, if you want something a little bit more forgiving, Cleveland's been really great. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously Ping has had, you know, their glides come, that, that have been really popular yeah. too. But the SM8s are just a huge hit. I mean, people right. love the feel of them. And another thing too, with Vokey, they have, I think is it like eight grind options now? Yeah. I mean, there's so many out there. So, I mean, any type of swing that it, you might get in for a fitting, you're gonna be able to fit someone into with a Vokey SM8 grind that's available with the different bounce options as well that come with those grinds. I mean, it's, you have a huge chart and a, a very wide net you can cast. Uh, yeah, I think golfers. that's what, that you know, the reason why Titleist can one up a lot of manufacturers is what you just said. Yeah. I mean, they have so many different grind options, so many different bounce options, um, different shaft options. I mean, for example, I had these exact clubs. I want a graphite literally just mm -hmm. walked out on the floor and, and we had them. Right. So I think the availability of that and being able to have that as well is a really sure. huge reason why they're so popular. Mm -hmm. So. All right. Well, now where are you hit? Roughly 40% of your golf shots is on the green with a putter. Yep. What's the putter that you chose here today? Well, I think I, it, it's really been hard to beat the spider. Mm -hmm. I, I think obviously a lot of people love the look of it, but aside from that, it's just uh, a good quality club. Yeah. I mean, when you're talking about a putter that's going to be forgiving, I mean, the spider really just maxes that out. You yeah. got, you know, the, the weights in the back. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, it looks. That's, that's it's high MOI. That, I mean, that Spider series has kind of defined the new age of high MOI putters. Right. And it's, there's another example here. Yeah, and you know, it's just it helps lessen the twist in the face. I yeah. mean, it really just creates more consistency with your putting stroke. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, like with the Spider line, they have so many different types of uh, bends, mm -hmm. so you really can fit to what your putting stroke is. So right. whether it's a single bend. Whether it's a you know double bend or whatever, yeah. you can get different options with the spider that's going to be able to adjust to your putting yeah, stroke. For sure. Well, 
This is a, a great look at some of the most popular options here from Jackie's fittings in 2021. Uh, let us know in the comments, golfers, if you have been fit into any of these options or maybe you've been fit into a different option that uh, you want to bring to the table as well here. But Jackie, thanks for uh, giving us all the insight on the most popular options for you. Uh, stay to the channel as well. We've got more fitters that are going to give their most popular clubs for 2021 in there. What's in the bags? But um, golfers, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well for, for those videos coming here soon.